Well, almost three weeks since the heinous double murder of 13-year-old Videsh Subar and his 56-year-old caretaker Hafiza Mohammed, two men appeared before the court charged with their murders. One of the accused, who was only charged this morning, was Mohammed's brother. Peter Christopher has more in this report. 19 days after 13-year-old Videsh Subar and 56-year-old Hafiza Mohammed were found murdered at Akimbash Trace, two men made a court appearance in relation to their murder at the Arima Magistrates Court. News that when Liverpool, a Sangri Grandi man had been charged, spread overnight and many gathered around the Magistrates Court, curious as to when he would emerge. But his appearance was delayed, as the DPP relayed instructions to charge Solomon Bash, Hafiza Mohammed's brother, with the offence as well. They were brought to court shortly before 1pm on Monday. Solomon Bash, a 54-year-old male and a 25-year-old Wayne Liverpool appeared before your worship, uh, Gillian David Scotland, a few minutes ago to answer the charges of murder and robbery in relation to what I've commonly referred to by now as the Malabar murders. They were charged with two counts of murder as well as robbery in connection with the June 28th incident. Defence attorney Fareed Ali, after initially pointing out that both his clients had spent considerable time in police custody prior to being charged, urged the authorities to expedite the case if possible. I'm calling upon the, the police to expedite their file, make sure that the, the file reaches to the DPP's office on time so we don't have an instance where uh, this is going to drag another year, another 12, 14 months and, and we're going to have to wait for an extended period of time. This, this isn't right. Mr. Ali, while admitting that members of the public were emotionally invested in the case due to the ages of the victims, also urged the public to not convict them in the course of public opinion. And third world mentality is manifested in social media and it's manifested in Facebook and Instagram and Twitter. When people come out and say, well, you know, hang them high, they should suffer, they should die. Um, these comments don't help. It don't help because when it is you have relatives who are wrongfully accused by the police, who are brought before the court and who are made to, to suffer these similar abuses, it's only then the point hits home. The accused are set to reappear on August 14th. Mr. Ali also explained that other suspects in the case were expected to face an identification parade later on Monday. He was not sure if there would be more names added to the list of the accused for the case. Peter Christopher, C News.